What's up, Screen Fiend fans? We are back, and now we're talking about Monkey Man. I know I'm late. Forgive me. Been quite busy, as you already know. But the Monkey Man is Dev Patel's first directorial debut with Jordan Peele's company, which is Monkey Paw. What a coincidence. And this is a story that's pretty much gritty. Uh, he starts off as this underground fighter who's getting beat up and taken a pounding by these well-renowned fighters. And he wears this monkey mask on. And he goes as the monkey man. And these guys are beating the living hell out of him. And he takes this beating to make some money and the living and he's going to these flashback scenes of what happened to him as a child and this rich and powerful man takes the life of his mother and these visions which leads him on this quest as he wants revenge for all of those who have taken from him what he felt he was denied um, the pursuit of vengeance you know, against this powerful deity is this both mostly resembles the storyline of caste. You know, this is about the upper echelon of caste, where other people in India feel that they're better than these people, even though they're the same race. It's just about a hierarchy of we're the rich and powerful come from the rich and powerful. You come from the poor, you are beneath us mentality. And the leaders, um, you know, the protagonist who ends up taking the life of his mother, so much a bigger scale of the movie, you know, they perpetuate this systematic uh, victimization of the people and just keep showing you the grit and the struggle of how they just victimize the poor and the powerless. So they go with this story where this white monkey man just came up and defended the people in the village to stop this demon from taking over. And so the monkey man is going to do that and fight for the people that can't fight. The Hanuman legend. It's an Indian story. And they were telling it and now as we go through this film, um, I just felt like the some characters who were funny and fitting the scenes and making, bringing some levity to the situation was ostracized a lot and thrown to the back. And I'm like, that's, that's kind of a shame. I would have wanted to hear a little bit more from them. So it was some missed opportunities here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know about um, you know how much involvement Jordan Peele had in it, but as far as the action scenes, um, a lot of it was kind of contorted and methodical. If you want to put it that way, want to use some big words, but it was muttered with a lot of too close ups too close. So Del Patel was shooting this. Get rid of the shaky cam. You know, you're shooting it too close. Pull back. Let us see some of the stunts. All that time putting in all that work. Learning all those moves. The choreographer moves. Just to have it marred like that. It's almost embarrassing. So 
you definitely want to make sure that you do this and Yeah, so anyway, it's a very good film. Um, I'll give it two and a half stars out of four. It's watchable. It's a good action movie. You just, you feel like the story takes a backseat to the, the bloody action. So, and then the action scenes kind of like, it was the way it was shot kind of takes you a, a little back a little bit, but. Uh, overall, it's watchable. You know, you'll watch it probably more than once. And that's my review of it. I'll give it a two and a half out of four for The Monkey Man. If you saw it, tell me what you thought. And definitely don't forget to join the membership. Um, we have different tiers there. We'll be doing behind the scenes things, uh, giving you... Um, mostly our spoiler-free breakdowns will be in that format. So thank you for your time. I'm out.